Wow, what do you see? I see some South African money. Today, we are going to be exploring South African money, rands and cents. Join us on this journey. My name is Tanzanel and I'm from Sense Education. And let's explore. Let's explore the island first. We are going to be answering some questions and when we're coming back, we are going to reveal some of the hidden pictures behind the dots. Let's go to question number one. Can you identify these coins? We're going to start over here. This is a, correct, a five rand. What about this one? Two rand. One rand. This one is a 50 cents. A 20 cents. And a 10 cents. Excellent. High five. You did it. Okay, so you can see that with the rands, it actually says the word rand. R -a -n -d, rand. And with cents, it has a small little C. C or K sound over here to show you that it is sense. And then you just read the number. So let's pick this one. Oh, it's a treasure chest. Can you identify these notes? Let's start up here. This is a 10 Rand, 20 Rand, 50 Rand, 100 Rand and 200 Rand. Wow. Okay, so the numbers really, really help you. And you know that all the notes are all Rands. None of them are cents. Let's see, what are we going to reveal now? Let's click on this one. <gasps> wow, it's a pirate on a ship. Now we need to change the Rand from Rands to cents. So have a look here and there's a little trick and that is, what are you, what are, what's the trick? I know you know it. Aha, you move the comma two spaces to the right. So this comma is going to go one, two, and it's going to make 540 cents. Have a look here, move the comma two spaces to the right. And it's going to make 167 cents. Then over here, you're going to move it this way. And this time, it's only going to make 80 cents because it, we, we lose the zero in the beginning. We don't have zero and 80 cents. It is just 80 cents and the zero falls away in the front. Move the comma forward and 825 cents. Good job. Let's go back to the island and let's see what this one is. A dolphin, beautiful. Now we're going to change from cents to rand. And this time, because we took the comma to the right, we're now going to take the comma to the left. So you see, there's no comma here. So we, the comma would have been, we play, play, it's at the end. And we're going to go two hops to the left, one, two and the comma will then sit in here so it is eight rand and seven cents do the same for this one move it over one two and it is three rand and eleven cents well done have a look here move it over and it is one rand and fifty four cents this one now it's a bit tricky because you're going to have to move it one two and then there's no other number so what happens it is naught rand and 89 cents so it is still cents you would usually not say naught rand so usually this one would just stay as 89 cents and if the number is a bit bigger you can change it over to rands well, this is just to show you what happens if it is a two-digit number and you're changing it to rands. 
And the last picture to complete this island is a mermaid, of course. Let's see where we're going to explore next. Where are we going? Where are we going to explore? Let's see. The farm. Wow, I can't wait to see these pictures. Write down which coins or notes you will use to buy the tomatoes. So nine packets of tomatoes are 105 rand and 50 cents. Now there's lots of different ways that you can break up this number. You would use the money that you know exists. You wouldn't use money that doesn't exist. For instance, seven cents doesn't exist. Um, 15 cents doesn't exist. So you need to keep in mind in the beginning, we spoke about the coins and we spoke about the notes. Think of those ones when you're doing it. So I think you're gonna pause this video and write down a few options and see if we also have the same examples. Get somebody to check it for you. See if your answer needs to come up to 105 Rand and 50 cents. So let's see some examples. You can do 100 Rand, 5 Rand and 50 cents. You can do 50 Rand, 50 Rand, 2 Rand, 2 Rand, 1 Rand and 50 cents. You can do 100 Rand, 5 Rand, 20 cents, 20 cents and 10 cents. Good job. Let's see. We get our first picture. What are we going to choose? Let's go here by the fence. Ah, oh, of course. Farm of these rake. Let's go to number two. Write down which notes or coins you will use to buy the pumpkins. So five pumpkins is 96 Rand 20. Pause this, write down some options you've thought of, and then we're going to go through the examples now. 50 Rand plus 20 Rand plus 20 Rand. 5 Rand, 1 Rand and 20 cents. 50 Rand, 20 Rand, 20 Rand, 2 Rand plus 2 Rand plus 2 Rand plus 20 cents. 50 Rand plus 20 Rand plus 10 Rand, 10 Rand, 5 Rand, 1 Rand and 20 cents. You can also end up breaking up this 20 cents into 10 cents plus 10 cents. Let's pick this pink dot. Ah, he's running with his axe. Change from Rand to cents. So again, the comma is going to move two spaces to the right. So two Rand 20 equals 220 cents. 10 Rand 65 is 1065 cents. Sure, big numbers here. And what about this one? 23 Rand 10 cents is 2310 cents. And 9 Rand 5 cents is 905 cents. Good job, well done. Ah, it's a horse, beautiful. I wonder what the last picture is. Let's find out soon. So we're going to change for again from cents to rand. And this time you pretend that the comma is here at the back and you're going to move it two places to the left side. So 805 cents is Eight rand five cents. Three hundred and ten cents is three rand and ten cents. A thousand and five cents is ten rand five cents. A thousand one hundred and sixty five cents is eleven rand sixty five. Well done, excellent. And the last picture is another horse. Let's see, what are we exploring next? Hmm. What are you exploring? 
Oh, I see some camping. We are exploring the camping site. Hey, let's see. We need some supplies for our camping trip. Of course we do. Write down which coins or notes you would use to pay for the marshmallows. So all of these marshmallows are 63 Rand 70 cents. Pause this video and write down a few ways that we can break up 63 Rand 70 cents using actual notes and coins. Some examples. 50 Rand, 10 Rand, 2 Rand, 1 Rand, 50 cents, 20 cents. Or 50 Rand, 10 Rand, 2 Rand, 1 Rand, 50 cents, 10 cents and 10 cents. So all we did here was we took the 20 cents and we made it into 10 cents and 10 cents. 20 rand, 20 rand, 20 rand, 50 cents, 20 cents, 1 rand, 1 rand, 1 rand. Well done. Let's go back to the campsite and see what is over here. Ah, another explorer. I wonder how many explorers are at this camping site. Camping site, wow. You think there's more? We'll have to wait and see. Okay, so we have 24 gran granola bars. They are 144 Rand 20. What ways could we break up this? Write down a few ways to break up 144 Rand 20. And some examples are 100 Rand, 20 Rand, 20 Rand, 2 Rand, 2 Rand, 20 cents. 100 Rand, 20 Rand, 20 Rand, 2 Rand, 1 Rand, 1 Rand, and 20 cents. 100 Rand, 20 Rand, 10 Rand, 10 Rand, 2 Rand, 2 Rand, 10 cents, and 10 cents. Good job, you got it. Let's have a look. Ah, it's a bag. There are 15 cans of soda. It's 105 Rand 70 cents. Again, write it down. How many different ways can you break up 105 Rand and 70 cents? Here are some examples for you. 100 Rand. 5 Rand, 50 cents, 20 cents. 100 Rand, 2 Rand, 2 Rand, 1 Rand, 20 cents and 50 cents. 50 Rand, 50 Rand, 5 Rand, 20 cents, 20 cents, 20 cents and 10 cents. Let's see, we'll click on this one. Ah! Some light, extra light for them. They have the fire for the light, for the some light, and now they have a, another piece of light. We have one more picture to go. We have 24 packets of chips. That's a lot of packets. And 82 Rand. What are some ways that you can make 82 Rand? Here are some examples. 50 Rand, 20 Rand, and 2 Rand. 50 Rand, 20 Rand, 10 Rand, 1 Rand, and 1 Rand. And then we have 20 Rand, 20 Rand, 20 Rand, 20 Rand, and 2 Rand. Let's have a look. What is that last picture? More explorers. I knew it. How many explorers are on this page? Good, good. There are four explorers. And they're finding lots of things. Okay, let's put on our exploring goggles and have a look. Let's see. The waterfall. Let's explore the waterfall. So we have some problem solving now. So again, I'm going to read it to you. Pause this video. Try and work out your problem. And then I will reveal the answer. So, Erin bought three books for 15 Rand 50 each. How much change will he get for 100 Rand? I'm going to read it again for you. 
Aaron bought three books for 15 Rand 50 each. How much change will he get from 100 Rand? And the answer is 53 Rand 50. So you would add 15 Rand 50 three times. And then you would take the 100 Rand and minus that total amount that you got. So there's a few things that need to be done to be able to solve this problem. Let's have a look. Let's do the one in the sky. Hey, bird. Nina and her two friends shared 75 Rand 60. How much money did each of them get? So this is a sharing problem. Nina and her two friends shared 75 Rand 60. How much money did each of them get? Write down your answer. And the answer is 25 Rand 20. Now, if you listen very carefully to the problem, it says Nina and her two friends which means that you're actually sharing it between three people and not two. So don't get confused with that one. Let's have a look. Here by the tree, another bird. My brother and I have 199 Rand 80 all together. If I have 34 Rand 20, how much money does he have? I'm going to read it again. My brother and I have 199 Rand 80 all together. If I have 34 Rand 20, how much money does he have? And the answer is 165 Rand 60. Okay, remember to show you're working out. How did you get to that? Don't just write the answer. I need to see the method in how you solved it. Maybe you draw pictures. Maybe you write numbers. However you want to get to the answer is perfectly fine. And, ah, it's a tiger. Looks like he's crawling towards us. And let's go to the last question. I got money for my birthday. Look at all the notes and coins I got. How much money did I get all together? So you need to add all the money together. So the trick is to count all the notes first and then secondly count the coins first and then you add those two together and it is much easier. Let's see. 287 Rand 50. That's how much money you got for your birthday. And the last picture is a gorilla. Very cool. Now, you can play this game with your friend if you like. And how it's going to work is you can choose a color column. And you need to try to change from rands to cents or from cents to rands, depending on what it is, as quickly as you can. And whoever gets to the top first, they are the winners. So find someone to play with you, maybe your friend, your sibling, your parent. So if it here it says five rand eight cents, you need to quickly change that then to cents. Here it says 943 cents, quickly change it to rands. So you would do the opposite of what it actually is. Thank you for exploring South African money with me today. It was wonderful to have you. Just remember to subscribe to the Sense Education channel so that you can see more of these videos. Have a good one. Bye.